morning, okay? Notice how I didn't say good morning, okay? And that is because we're in our winter art. Welcome back to my channel, Stinks. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Talia. On this page, we casually enjoy a little bit of education, some amazing entertainment, and an intimate, occasional fondling. It is officially called being effed, so if you want to be effed by me, join the cult. Go bounce for me in the comments. It's a really fun time. Now, a lot of you guys are probably asking what the f*** is a winter arc, okay? It's a common thing. There are approximately three months, 90 days, probably two and a half when you see it. Every bad Okay, and every bad with a penis has to go through it. It's a canon event. If you want to become that beautiful butterfly versus the squishy caterpillar that you are at the moment, and that is unacceptable. Acceptable? Uh, uh, unacceptable. Yes, that's unacceptable. So, you know, I was thinking that me and you could maybe log in together, you know, at the end of the year and really conquer our year goals because we're in our winter arc era. I wish I could say I'm making a difference. Hey. That is quite literally like the best core workout you ever have is choking on your tongue scraper. All up. And now this. Oh my god. I don't feel good. No, I look stunning, beautiful, amazing. It's giving really in her winter arc era. That's me. But I feel like in order to really complete the look, you have to put a hoodie, okay? That's the only thing that makes a winter arc. <laughs> it's a giving winter arc. Yes, anyway, a whole fit, obviously, from Gymshark. You guys already know. Um, if you don't use my code, you I think you're weird, buddy. I think you're weird. Okay, code stinky. Plus, like, how fun is it to just, like, not put that code in? Like, everyone else has these boring codes. Now, I know we personally haven't had the conversation yet, but I was thinking that me and you could maybe go exclusive. Okay, so don't use anyone else's code, and I won't use anyone else's code. Now, I'm actually gonna put the exact link for everything that I'm wearing in my description box down below, so take Ask me, bro. Some of you guys be asking in the comments, oh, like the link for this, babe. <laughs> they put it in the description box. Don't be that person. Something in the you know, now I'm trying to stop drinking dark soda because, you know, I'm in my winter arc. But unfortunately, um, I have quite a few of these Coca-Cola, Cali Cola flavored um, Oxy Shreds. Once I finish those off, then I will really be in my winter arc. I feel like on your winter arc, you have to like really start prioritizing your supplements. I'm already relatively consistent with supplements, but I'm really about to be locked the in. Obviously, main ones that I'm focusing on, as usual, uh, creatine and electrolytes. You guys already know I take one every day. And I feel like taking creatine in a winter arc, like, that that literally is the trope. Like, that's a part of it. Like, you grow in the winter. You grow fat in the winter. Can you still take this in the summer? Absolutely. I've been taking this for almost three years. Creatine is like the legal version of steroids. <laughs> So it's just like, why wouldn't you want to take that? I'm joking. If you guys want like a more in-depth video on creatine, I do have like a full ins and outs. If you guys want an updated version, close mouths don't get fed. So let me know in the comments down below. And if not, then I'll just like keep talking. Quick spark notes version. Creatine is a supplement that you take. It's going to help increase your performance in the gym. So you'll be able to lift a little bit more weight, maybe hit an extra rep. And by doing that, it's like a domino effect. It helps increase the rate of the amount of lean muscle mass you can build. You know, you don't need it, but if you want a fatter, faster, maybe give her a try. And all those silly f myths that you hear out there, they've been debunked. Let's get some of that white powder. That white girl, that snowy doughy. Slip that throat, winter arc. Okay, and then finally, the last supplement that I've been taking is a multivitamin. Honestly, I can't believe it took me this long to get started consistently with one, because I feel like I had been missing out. You know, it's not giving very mindful or very demure of me. But I'm taking the Rituals Essentials for 18 Plus Multivitamin, and Rituals is also sponsoring this week's video, so please give them a huge shout out for me. Oh my god, thanks! Now, I've actually already been taking the, their Symbiotic Plus. It's a pre, pro, and postbiotic supplement, and personally, I've seen some crazy differences in my gut health and my bloating and just my digestive system in general uh, so I'm very grateful for that so it was a no-brainer for me to try their multivitamin as you can see my bottle is halfway empty so I'll probably have to get another bottle soon I think one of the beautiful things about this is that the ingredients are hundred percent traceable so I know exactly what I'm putting into my body you guys like not all ingredients are created equal okay there 
not. And it's clinically backed for women between ages of 18 and 49 to help fill in those nutrient gaps that most of us have. It has vitamin D3, omega-3s, vitamin B12, iron, folate, vitamin K12, boron, vitamin E, and magnesium, okay? It's got the full lineup. It's also vegan-friendly, and the patent beetlet in the oil tech combines your essential nutrients in just two capsules. I also like how it's third-party tested for heavy metals, microwaves, and allergens. Not to mention, they have like this beautiful minty scent and flavor when you, you know, refresh breath. Anybody want to kiss? It's super gentle on my stomach too, which is necessity because hot girls have tummy problems. They do. I'm talking about myself. You guys can use my link and my code to get 25% off your first order. I'm gonna put all that in my description box down below and I wanna give another huge thank you to Ritual for sponsoring this week's video and constantly supporting this channel. Kisses. I think you can see the sunrise. So like the sun, I guess it like transitions throughout the year. I couldn't see the sunrise or the sunset from my apartment. But now, if I stick my head out the window, I can see it. That's God. Winter arc. All right, winter arc begins. I seriously do need some winter art book recommendations. You guys won't believe this, but I have yet to finish Crescent City 3. This is definitely the best of the three. I finally finished off those freaking nasty black forest fruit strips. They were so bad, but I finished them off. So now I'm back to the organic pure layer fruit bars. These are like literally the tastiest thing ever. And I think they're like a perfect pre-workout snack. And so get your hands on them because they're great. I have about two of these before my workouts and your girl feels feeling refreshed. Okay, gotta get those carbs in. Gotta build that fat butt butt. But in all seriousness, my workouts are the best one in the afternoon, but like I'm a morning workout girl. So sacrifice have to be made. But I only have one today. So hopefully I don't like throw up and pass out and die. Not very winter arc of him. Mm. You know, I quite literally just want to be the hottest, sexiest version of myself. Am I asking too much? Someone please tell me. Because I feel like I have been nothing but worthy of being the hottest version of myself. So if you guys have any winter arc book recommendations that are like a fun read, okay, and have less to do with self-help because unfortunately that stuff does not interest me yet. I would love for you guys to drop that shit in the comments down below. I feel like I need to take this drive to the gym and Silence, you know? Real winter arky. Let's throw the windows down. Windows down, baby! Mother Nature! chats again welcome back i know it's been like literally like i don't know like since february since i did a cardio chat but to be quite frank someone stole my mics okay and i was diligent in getting them because they're 200 dollars, you know so i was like i'll just go most of the year without them but by popular demand here we are <laughs> now, i think i'm going to do like more of an in-depth video on exactly like what i'm going to do to lock back in for these last three months i know as silly and dumb as the winter art sounds i think it's a really good excuse and a fun excuse to kind of get back into things things if you fell off and also let me say this right like if you fell off that does not mean you are a failure this journey is going to come with way more failure than it is success and you have to start getting used to that and start embracing it okay and i know it's difficult to have compassion for yourself but this journey isn't easy it is not easy at all i promise and the people that are successful in this space they fail all the time i fail all the time it's actually annoying the most beautiful thing about failure is that you learn so much from those failures and every single time you learn something that is something new to take away in this space it gets you one step closer to the goals that you're trying to achieve i can't you know i, I refuse to believe that i'm the only person that finds so much meaning in failing in something so you know message from me from your girl stop crying when you fail and start learning something okay i used to be someone that was so hard on themselves to the point where it got extremely discouraging to continue. I want you guys to kind of think about Samuel Jackson, right? Not my cat. <laughs> Even though we love him, shout out to my baby. He did not break through into the acting space until he was well into his 40s. Imagine working for your goal until you're 40. And you would think, and most people do, that most people give up at that point. But look at his payoff, it's crazy. And it's something else to think about is 40 is young. I mean, 40 could just be half of your life. You can live to 80, you can live to 100. And we're sitting here focused about 
a couple of years of hard work not being able to figure it out. Some people don't reach them until way in the future, others reach them earlier. But you will never know if you reach your goal if you quit. So, you know, just remember you have time. You have time, so much time. I want you guys to like put a goal in the comments that you have for these last three months and we will all manifest for each other, okay? I believe in you, okay? We all believe in you. I believe in you. Where are you? Now, that is it for this week's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you didn't, <laughs> I'm sensitive, you know, honestly, and I'm like this close to crashing out. I'm actually like not joking. Like I just got some bad news. So I'm trying not to act weird about it, but like it's hard. And then again, if you guys need any help with your fitness journey, um, I've been in the game for a really, really long time, like seven years almost at this point. I've worked with hundreds of women and I understand your struggles and I have a lot of compassion. And obviously like I can give you as much advice and tools and all that stuff, but sometimes you just need help and that's okay. And I want you to know that I'm here for you. My application for October just recently opened back up. So I'm gonna go ahead and link the application in my description box down below if you guys want to see any of my results with my clients post a lot of them on my instagram page and the highlights i will also link that in my description box down below if you want to check that out and um winner arc oh behave <laughs> yeah yeah baby yeah